The biggest challenges about being a mom and a coach is just being able to be present in both of those areas, I think. And, you know, when I'm at the softball field, I'm the best coach that I can be. And then when I get home, no matter what happened at the field, it's time to be a mom. I'm so thankful that I get to be a mom and I get to work at the same time. You know, it's the first time in my life that I realized that something was more important than softball was when I had my kids. I didn't get that when I was younger because I thought it was all about the game and how much I had, you know, it was just, it was what I loved. And then I have my first kid and I'm like, wow, like, man, there's something that I actually love more, you know, than just being able to play the game. And, you know, that's when I knew that it was time to retire. When I told Coach Lombardi that I was gonna keep this baby and go through the pregnancy, she was super supportive. And the first thing she said to me was, I'm so proud of you. Being a mom is the best thing in the world. And if you want to come back, we have a spot for you no matter what. I remember when Jazz called me and told me that she was expecting and you know, as a mother, I was I was so thrilled for her. I mean, it, to me, that's the best thing in the world. The toughest part for me personally has been figuring out how to manage not being perfect at all of those things. And someone once told me you have to learn to juggle the plates and get used to some of them crashing. Patty Gasso has been another inspiration for me as um, a mom that's raised a family and been super successful in the softball world. There was a time where I had to talk to JT and he's a young kid and like, what do you, I think I, I need to stop coaching because I'm not there with you guys. And he's like, you did not coach. Number one, we would not get to get on the sidelines of OU football anymore. And number two, you wouldn't be the same mom that we know you as. And softball is what you love to do. So I just tried to keep them a part of it. I used to take them recruiting. Even when they were babies, people would look at me like, what are you doing? I'm like, trying to do it all. I think it's changed everything about what I do, honestly. I think it makes me see the players differently. I think it makes me just, you know, understand relationships better. I think um, it's just given me more of a purpose and what an awesome opportunity to be a mom in this sport and just have all these women that are role models for my daughters. It's a lot of sacrifices of time, but when you think about the big picture, it's awesome that they have this opportunity to be a part of this program. Ugh, moms are the best, aren't they? Like, I, I think about my relationship with my mom, and uh, I was really lucky to have a mom that played softball and knew the sport and uh, led the way for me and Path, and she made a difference for softball in uh, Oregon in the city of Eugene. Her and my grandpa, grandpa really made sure that uh, this sport was elevated in our community. And because of that, she was able to go play collegiately. She went across the country, went to Louisiana, tried something completely new coming from Oregon. Uh, she was a pitcher and uh, obviously had a fantastic time. I like those cool shades. And, you know, because of her experience, she was able to support me and be there for me when I won a national championship. And she inspired me to go follow my dreams because she followed hers. And uh, I think moms are just so powerful in our lives because they can be those role models. They can be that loving, constant support, and they can just really give you all of the inspiration that you need to succeed. And that's how my mom was. And I'm so grateful. And uh, now I'm a mom. I have an eight month old little girl and, um, it's the most special feeling in the world to know that I could potentially inspire my kid to do something awesome, just like my mom did for me. And Jenny, you're a mom. So I know you have all the feels about this too. All the feels is right. It's tissue time because when it comes to being a mom, I think emotions are the thing that become the roller coaster. I cry at everything. I cried at everything before, but now everything just is so much more intense because I see the game in such a different way. I'm able to watch the game of softball through the eyes of my daughter who plays collegiately. And just this last weekend, I was able to go in to her college campus and celebrate her senior day and here comes the quivery, quivery voice. It's, it's so yeah. hard to give them wings, but then also allow them to fly. They truly are the thing that makes it worth it. And I wouldn't trade any of the moments that I had coaching her in high school, coaching her in travel ball. And a lot of people question, why do parents pay so much money for their girls to play travel ball? And I will tell you right now, you're not paying for the travel ball. You're paying for the one-on-one -on -one time that you get with your little girl because she does grow up and she does get older and she grows up to be an amazing blessing. So let's turn this around. And after we get back from break, <laughs> we're going to have to do a little shag and stats. 
right after this.